Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. In this video of MS Word course, I'm gonna show you or I'm gonna teach you basically how to use Word Art and Drop Cap option in MS Word. Well, guys, Word Art and Drop Cap are two both different things, and I'm gonna teach you how to use these things one by one, right? So let's get into the video and learn about these things. <music> So guys, as you can see, right now I'm in my MS Word software and this is the dummy content I have added here, right? Now let's start with Word Art. So to find Word Art, first you have to go to Insert tab and Insert tab you'll be able to see the Word Art option here, as you can see here, right? In Insert tab you have to go to Text Options and in Text Options this is the Word Art option available here, right? So once you click on this, you'll be able to uh, see these type of different different kind of designs. So whatever design you want you just click on this uh, Let's say I'm clicking on this and this kind of text Will be appeared in front of you now here. You can write let's say I'm writing What is SEO? Right, so this is the heading I have designed using word art right now. I can drag it like this Right you can drag it. This is kind of an image and you can drag it wherever you want. You can uh, use it like image and it does work like image in MS Word, right? So it behaves like an image, right? Now I'm just dragging it. So if you don't know how to drag it, you just have to hover your cursor around this word art and you will be able to see this plus icon kind of thing, right? Then once this plus icon things uh, shows, you just have to select, basically click the left button and drag it like this right now as you can see my heading is ready now if I want to change in this word art I can do that as well for that I just have to click on the word art and shape format tab will be appeared in front of me so I've already shown you how to design or how to style your shapes using shape styles and insert shape option now we are into word styles option word art styles basically right so let's say if you want to change it let uh, after creating the design or after cre uh, writing the text maybe you don't want to uh, use this one maybe you are not liking this one so you can change it as well right whatever you design you want let's say i am going with this red one first you have to select this i haven't selected this and then click on this red one and red is applied otherwise you can apply anyone you want. You just have to select the text, right? So that's how you can change it. Then we have few more options available here. The text fill option. Text fill is basically uh, whatever the color you want to fill in the text, you can do that, right? Then we have no fill option. Obviously, if you don't want to fill any, uh, any color, you can use this option as well. Then we have more color fill to get you some advanced color options. And this will help you to get whatever the color you want. You can add it. You just need the color code. You can add that color, right? You can use that color basically. Then we have the third option, which is gradient. You can use gradient effect as well in your text. Let's say I'm using um, blue color, right? Now I'm using blue color and I'm adding a gradient effect as well, like this. Right, so as you can see, here is the kind of gradient effect applied in my text. Then we have outline, so you can change the outline as well. Yes, there are tons of customization option in MS Word. First, let me select the text so that the whole text can be changed. Right now, I can change the border, basically the outline whatever I want I can use the color then we have no outline feature as well then we have more outline colors basically to give you some advanced color options right as I have already shown you then we have this weight weight is basically if you want to make the border a bit bold if you want to increase the weight if you want to increase the width of your uh, outline you can use this option right then we have at the end we have dashes Dashes is basically it allows you to apply dashes into your text as you can see uh, This is small, but I think you'll be able to see otherwise if you're using 
this in on your phone basically if you're watching this video on your phone you will you might not able to see it let me show you again as you can see here different kind of dashes are applying into your word art right so let me just go with nothing this time we do have text effect as well text effect gives you shadow reflection glow bevel option bevel is like this right kind it, it gives kind of 3d effect basically kind of depth into your word art right then we have these 3d 3d options which you can choose right then we have transform transform is basically to give you this kind of designs these kind of designs right so you can use these designs in different different kind of scenarios this is totally up to you this is totally up to your creativity level that where you are using these designs right now let's start with few things after applying shadow i want to apply apply reflection as well let's choose this one then let's choose glow as well let's go with the minimal one minimal effect um not blue yellow is okay although it is not looking good color uh, combination is very bad but still just to show you right now i'm applying the depth effect here right then i'm going with 3d effect as you can see here after applying the depth basically bevel 3d is looking way more cooler right then we have transform if you want you can apply otherwise just leave it like this right i hope you are liking the design and that's how you can apply word art right now we do have drop text and for that again you have to go to insert tab and here we do have drop cap option option right so if you click on this you do have two option first one is dropped and second one is in margin so if you select dropped it will add a drop cap effect basically it will add a letter basically it transforms your first letter of your content into a this kind of size and why it is you might have uh, seen in this kind of thing in many books in newspapers and news is right so this is very useful to grab the attention and this is used to let the audience know that from where the content is starting right and you can use many options over here like this one is dropped one then if you want to bring this word out in the margin basically out of your content you can use this option in margin option right then we have drop cap option drop cap option gives you few access let it lets you change the font it lets you change the size of the drop cap basically then it lets you change the distance from the text as well let's say now it is uh, taking three lines right now right so if i change the line into two and the font is same i don't want to change the font uh, it is using the same font which is in the body text right but if you want you can change it tons of options are here right then we have distance uh, what is the distance you want so uh, um, let's use 0.3 cm right and if i hit the okay button now you'll be able to see it is taking only two lines and the distance is 0.3 cm right so i hope you understood how to use word art and how to use drop cap into your ms word and these are few small things but pretty useful in order to make your document or text document look more professional right so i hope you learned from this video if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button also don't forget to share this course or this ms word playlist with your needy friends who want to learn ms word in a better and efficient way right with that said i'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye